Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another Root Solutions video. I'm Rory Bocop and today I'm going to be going through how about we can go about changing the default units for Creo. Um, we get this question asked quite a lot um, here at Root Solutions, um, so we're going to run through a video today um, showing you how about you can go about changing that. Um, so I've got a fresh install uh, of Creo Parametric, Creo 3 on uh, my machine here. Uh, and by default, um, the units for Creo are in inches, pounds, they're, they're imperial units. Um, and so I'm going to cover how Creo sets its units to start with. So um, when you start a new part within Creo, um, if I run through this on screen, let's do this. Um, let this load up. When you start a new part in Creo uh, and you hit OK, you're choosing a template. Uh, and this template will set things like uh, date and planes, coordinate systems, and also your units. Um, so by default, Creo will pull through this imperial um, template. Um, you can uncheck this and hit OK. You can then choose from the list. So here we've got um, different templates. So the default one is inches, pounds, and seconds. Um, you know, we have got metric ones in here, though. So we've got solid part, millimeters, kilograms, solid, seconds, sorry. Um, so this is the one we want Creo to be pulling through uh, by default. Um, so how we go about doing that is we basically it's a, it's a config change. Um, so if you go to File, Options, Configuration Editor. Now this is the config uh, for this machine. I say it's a fresh install so it's a brand new config. Uh, and here are our templates. So we can see we've got a template for our board part, our assemblies and our solid parts. Uh, and this is the location. So this is pointing to our template, uh, which is stored on our machine. And you can find these if you open up a Windows browser, um, navigate to the installation location of Creo. Um, so for this, it's Program Files, PTC, Creo 3, um, M80 is the date code, uh, Common Files, uh, Text, sorry, Templates are in this templates folder here, not Text. Um, and here are all the, the, the templates that are available for Creo. Um, so what Creo does when we start a new part, it comes in, finds a, a template that's been set in the config, copies all the information across that in there into your new part, and there you go, that's all then set. Um, so you're not changing any of these when you're starting new parts, it's just copying that information across. So what we're going to do is we're going to change um, this template. So in the drop down for solid parts, this is our standard part, I'm going to click browse. I'm now going to browse to that templates folder. So that was in my computer, C drive, program files, uh, PTC. Now this location may be slightly different on your machine, um, it depends where you did it, where you saved P Creo when you uh, installed uh, the software. Um, but for me it's PTC, Creo 3, M080, Common files and templates. And for uh, solid part, I'm choosing solid part MMKS, so that stands for millimeters, kilograms, solid, uh, sorry, seconds, uh, PRT. So hit open. That is then set, and we can see that it's been changed with this sort of asterisk. Um, so I'll also do an assembly just to show you. Um, all the others are behaving exactly the same way, you just need to go in and set these individually. So for assembly, again, into the drop down, Creo has now remembered this template location, so I can just find it in here. So that is, uh, where are we? Okay, so millimeters, kilograms, seconds, assembly, design.asm, choose open. And now I'm happy with that. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna export Per current filter. I'm going to save this config, so just save it over config.pro, hit OK, and hit OK. Um, so now when I go to say new part, use default part, and I go file, prepare, model properties, we are now in millimeters, kilograms, seconds, rather than inches and pounds. Um, so hopefully this was helpful. Um, as always, if you have any questions, uh, please leave them in the comments section uh, and we'll try and get a, a round to answering all of those. Um, if you have any other sort of suggestions for future videos, again, leave these in the comments section 
uh, and again we'll try and get around to, to making some more videos regarding those in the comments. Um, so thank you for listening uh, and I'll see you again next time. Cheers.